what is going on, guys? Today we're going to be reacting to six sleepover horror shorts animated. But we're going to be doing we're going to be doing the first two stories, the next two stories, and the last two stories, and the next three terribly terrorist Tuesdays. Because last week we did terribly terrorist Tuesday. Because uh, we were getting kind of spooky over there at that time. New new series uh, inspired by Talk of Tuesday. Um, um, I'm wearing a hat, so comment down below uh, your shoe size and if you're wearing a hat or not. If you're wearing a hat, you get a shout out in the next video. Shout out to Mort. The, uh, the creator of this video, and also, um, shout out to everyone who commented down on the videos of the, the video last time, terribly, first Terribly Tuesday, um, none of you guys said, uh, fish, fish, make a splish, splash, so you get no money, uh, this video, comment down below, um, I survived... Uh, no, never mind. Um, maybe, uh, like, uh, let's get into this first video. We're going back many, many years for this, but I grew up in Northern California in quite a poor rural area. Stop. Some of my best friends from elementary and middle school live like 10 to 15 miles away. So on weekends, okay. instead of just going over to visit for the day, we'd have sleepovers to- First of all... That is... I'm not trying to assume genders here, but... That is a woman. And this narrator is a man. Okay, maybe I am trying to assume genders, but... That is not, um... What you call it? Like, that is not a man. That is a woman. To save our parents driving these crazy round trips. Wait, I totally forgot what he just said. Okay, one second. Many, many years for this, but I grew up in Northern California in okay. quite a poor rural area. Okay. Some of my best friends from elementary and middle school live like 10 to 15 miles away. Gotcha. So on weekends, instead of just going over to visit for the day, We'd have sleepovers to save our parents driving these crazy round trips. Oh, so that's our mom. So I had this one friend called Star, whose parents were like old school hippies. Okay. Their house always smelled of patchouli. They were vegan before vegan was even really a thing, and aside from a few unusual recreational activities, they were basically just as good as being parents as any other couple. They were sweet, loving, and attentive, and Are these I always had a ball whenever I went to sleepovers at their place. What's going on? Mainly because they let us stay outdoors in a tent at night, going which was just such a huge adventure for a little group of preteen What are you looking at the hammer for, bro? Anyways, this one night we're what? staying in a tent in the she backyard, got, like, but uh, it was a backyard that, like, that extended uh, to one side of the house. What is she, she got Parkinson's Where we're camped is in the view of the TV room window, so what is going Star's on? mom and dad could keep an eye on Our, us, but like, it also meant shaking? we could see the driveway from the flap of our tent. It was summertime. So it was still incredibly warm at night, so we ended up leaving the tent flat unzipped to let some cool air in. It obviously wasn't open all the way, because bugs, but we can still see outside the tent. Okay. Then, in the middle of the night, Star shakes me awake and whispers, There's someone in the driveway. What? I'm thinking it might have been her big brother, who was a few years older than us and was attending college. But when I suggested that, she said, no, it's a bunch of people. Look. Oops. I start getting real anxious hearing that, so I quietly creep up. Okay. I know this is like picky or whatever, but what are they wearing? Like, that is not. You're not wearing proper etiquette. Like, what are you. You're not wearing proper etiquette, Miss Ma'am. Like, like, she got like a full on dress. She got like cargo shorts on or something like car cargo pants or whatever and uh this like weird pink shirt thing bro like where are the pajamas at like to the, the tent flap to peek out and that's when i saw that star was exactly right 
People think that I'm really intense, oh but it couldn't God. be farther from. <laughs> what the f great shadow legends? Yo, bro, who is Ronda Raids? Who is Ronda Raids? Comment down below who is Ronda Raids and why is she so mad? In the little bit of moonlight that we had, I literally lost count of the number of people I saw creeping up her driveway. Dang, that's a lot. It was seriously one of the scariest moments of my life. I bet it's a prank. Mainly man. because there was absolutely nothing to do but keep as quiet as possible. Oh yeah, just... We couldn't call the cops. This was way before cell phones. We couldn't warn Star's oh, parents man. without revealing our presence. Hey, more! We were just powerless, forced to watch people who obviously didn't have good intentions slowly approaching Star's house. What's going on? I think in the end, Star just broke, and in a move you could either call real brave or real stupid. Pretty stupid. She just ran out of the tent shouting, Get away from my house. And then, Mom, Dad, call the cops. As soon as she starts screaming, a bunch of flashlights burst into life, obviously held by the guy sneaking up the driveway. And oh my god, there were so many of them. At first glance in the darkness, it looked no more than about five or six people. That but when they all turned their flashlights on, yeah. it was clear the number was more like 15 or 20. It's clear that there's... I just hear, <laughs> Sheriff's Department, show me your hands. And that was incredibly confusing because we were all about calling the cops to get help, but like, the cops were already here? What? Anyway, Star does as she's told, while me and our friends start climbing out of the tent with our hands in the air. That's when the so person approaching more? us started saying, Jesus, they're just kids, man. And with them being closer, I could see that they really were cops, with caps and badges and all patches on their arms, all that stuff. What are they doing there? Bro? Then I hear, go, 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 get in there. And the cops start bashing the front door to the house in while not a cop, other cops bro. fanned around the backyard and headed towards that? one of the barns. And why is he shaking? We were scared, obviously, but we're so focused on just staying down and Okay, that building right there, they're growing pot. Watching that we're not really freaking out too bad. That's not very scary. But when the cops start dragging Star's mom and dad oh, out of the house eyes, and arresting eyes, them, they're like red. she had to be restrained by the cop that was guarding us. After that, the cops drove me and our friend back to our respective homes. Then, I don't know what they did with Star. I think they took her to her grandma's or her aunt's or whatever. Then a few days later... We find out that Star's mom and dad had been growing something they shouldn't have in one of their barns. Oh, yeah, I, I get that it, it was illegal and stuff, but yes, the sir. aftermath was just so sad. Star yes, had sir. to go live with her relatives because her parents were sent off to prison for a few years. It was messed up. Okay, okay. And I get that the cops were just doing their job and stuff, but it was definitely one of the scariest times of my life. That's not seeing that all scary. those figures in this... black just creeping towards my friend's house. Oh, I guess that's kind of scary, but that, was, that wasn't that good, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't that good. Hopefully, this next one's better. So, back when I was a kid, me and my best bud were having a sleepover. His mom and dad had gotten a divorce a couple months prior, so to counter all the stress of it, he pretty much got whatever he wanted. Not like his mom was spoiling him or anything. She was just being super nice to make sure he wasn't too bummed about his dad leaving. Did it work? Yes and no. No. Getting to have his friends sleep over, getting an Xbox, a cell phone, and getting much more personal freedom was all well and good, but every so often you could tell the whole thing was getting to him. Good thing was... Bro, he got a cell phone and an Xbox and friends. What is so wrong? I mean, look at his room, bro. Where's the Xbox at? Where's the cell phone at? This isn't, like, spoiled. This is sad. He got a chair and a desk, and he got another desk and a laptop that's not even plugged in. No keyboard or mouse. Like, this is sad. This guy's got no bed. Is that his bed? What is that? I got to spend a whole bunch more time with him to give him the support we needed, which coincidentally meant that I was there for one of the worst moments of his childhood. Actually, make that both our childhoods. Oh, so, man, we're having a sleepover, and his mom is having a friend over. Or upstairs, Ooh. they're downstairs. At one point, I wanted a glass of water, so I head downstairs, but 
He had to walk Dang. through the TV room to get to the kitchen, and when I do, I see my buddy's mom's friend is a dude, and they're getting oh, kind of close, if you know what I'm saying. That's us, bro. I'm not they jump off each other when I walk into the room. I walk through like, don't mind me, and it's incredibly awkward as I walk back through with my glass of water. I mean, me too, then, bro. I'm trying to get some. I make the mistake of mentioning it to my buddy. Oh. He's clearly not happy with the fact that it's a dude. Like, we're ninth graders at this point, so we're pretty savvy to, you know. Anyway, my buddy isn't happy, but <laughs> you know what? Like, he just does a, his usual thing of internalizing it before distracting himself. You guys know how it is when you buy a new Mac, it's super fast at oh first, my God. pretty soon after, it's like, <laughs> slow down. You know what? Yo, this is... Um... Just take a... I'm literally about to die. That's probably because you have... Not the best coping mechanism in hindsight, but... It is what it is. Are you getting mad for what? Then, remember that cell phone I mentioned? Okay. Yes, I did. Well, did. his mom bought it for him so he could keep in touch with his dad, which he then does. And guess what's the first thing he tells him? Yep. That there's a strange dude over at his house. I totally blame myself in the moment. It sucked so hard, and that doesn't when sound right, my buddy though. hung up, turned to me with a smug grin and said, Dad's on his way over. I just knew something bad was going to happen. I kind of wanted to leave, but at the same time, my whole reason for being at that time was being a good friend to Ryan. Just I had a really it. healthy family life at home. Like, my mom and dad were a loving, dedicated couple, right up until the day my dad passed. And oh. I'd like to think they raised good kids. Yeah, well, but Ryan, his parents were turtle morons. And good God, did that make me feel guilty. So... I stuck around. I knew something horrible was going to happen, Don't. but I had zero freaking sure, clue mom. to how bad it would really be. My buddy's bedroom window overlooked his driveway, so when his dad finally did show up, oh, we could gun. see and hear almost everything that went on down there. His dad, and I'm not embellishing here, hurdles up the driveway at like 40 miles an hour, For screeches to a stop. What? Forty miles, but you can't even run that fast, bro. You're there lying. This whole story is fake, exposed. And then doesn't even uh, shut his door when he climbs out of his car. Ryan is watching him, looking at him like his dad is a knight in shining armor for a few seconds. Uh huh. Right up until he says, "Oh crap, I think my dad has a gun." Hearing oh, that, that final good. word sent this razor sharp icicle running right through my guts. Oh. I knew there'd probably be shouting and fighting, but shooting? Shooting. Then all we hear through an open window is, where is he? It was Ryan's dad. He'd banged on the door until his mom answered, and then demanded to know where her guy friend was. Ryan's mom's all like, I don't know what you're talking about. But then Ryan's dad goes from zero to a hundred in a second flat. Don't lie to me, Linda, where is he? He says. There's this very real, palpable Linda, pause, and me and Ryan are just on this very tense, nervous feeling, then his mom says, Who told you? Again, shiver of ice through my stomach, because I'm basically the one who told, and in that moment, I told myself that whatever was about to happen was completely my fault. No, bro, it's the See, fault. Ryan's dad exploded at the admission. You got a gun, bro. You're a freaking liar, Linda. Now get out of my way. We could hear Ryan's mom screaming for a second. Then we heard another voice. Only this one is definitely inside the house. The guy friend. Get off! He screamed. You heard the guy start to shout something at Ryan's dad. What is going on? Then he just went totally silent. Oh. And all you could hear were feet beating against the floorboards downstairs. All before. Bam. Bam. Gunshot. Bam. Gunshot. Three distinct oh. gunshots that echoed around the house. Dang. Me and Ryan are just bawling at this point. Oh, because sad. we could still hear his mom screaming and we had no idea if she'd been shot, if the boyfriend was dead, oh. if the boyfriend had a gun and fired at Ryan's dad. The whole situation was traumatic enough, but the not knowing, man, that was just the worst. Why is that right? I had to grab Ryan's cell phone off of him to call 911. He just 
totally shut down from the stress. Not that scary, bro. Not He'd had a rough enough few months while the whole divorce thing went on. <gasps> but now he had to deal with two L's in a row, a bro. These videos are terrible. Dad. I don't blame him, honestly. It was bad enough for me, and it wasn't even any of my parents. The three shots were all heard, and before the cops showed up, the only sounds we could hear were Ryan's mom crying downstairs. So we should have gone to check on her. Oh, dang, her I know man. we should have. The dispatcher told us both to stay put because we didn't know if there was still an active shooter or whatever, so we did as we were told. Okay. Thankfully, everyone turned out to be okay and no one was even shot. Ryan's dad had aimed the gun at his mom's friend as, as soon as he'd laid eyes on him, but the guy was quick and just bolted out the back of the house as Ryan's dad pursued. He fired three shots. So no one got hurt. This guy is just crazy and he got a gun. So scary. So scary. I'm spooked. I'm spooked. It's not even scary, bro. I'm not even watching the rest. What, let me, oh, cop car. Yeah, that, that's it. That's it. It was the worst ever. I'm not watching these. I, I, I'm i watching something else, bro. Or next video. I love you guys. Uh, here's a kiss on the cheek for y'all. Don't you dare take that to your mouth. To your cheek only. So, good night, bro. It's uh, currently 534. I love you.